And lastly today, when a group of kids left China, they were considered only second best. But after more than a year of intense training in one of the biggest soccer-playing countries in Europe, this ragtag team might just surprise everyone. Sometimes a dream is worth fighting for. That's why these 40 Chinese youngsters have traveled all the way to Portugal with one dream in mind, get better at soccer. Someone who can become an icon for Chinese football. We think we can have four or five players here who can, in fact, achieve this. But believe it or not, these kids are only second best. Local Chinese coaches handpick the best players from around the country to play in the Chinese national youth team. Coach Gomez grabbed the next best group of 16 to 20 year olds. He took them to Portugal last year to train, and at the end of it, they'll see who really are the best players in China. In these 15 months, the kids had noticeable improvement in their performance during the match. Their pace and rhythm during matches is much better. Their attacking capabilities are greater. All this is the result of successful learning with Portuguese football. Though these kids have had to deal with a bit of culture shock, they're already feeling the local soccer fever. The pace of the game is the biggest difference. They play so much faster here in Portugal and in Europe. In general, even just through improving on this aspect, I've developed technically. In China, both in matches and practices, there is no guiding system. Chinese football still hasn't got personality, its own characteristics. I'm very happy to be on this project. Portuguese football is much better than Chinese. Portugal has been hit hard by the debt crisis and Chinese investment has been sorely welcomed. Soccer has been exploding in popularity in China, but it's also come with fresh scandal. Two former Chinese soccer chiefs were found guilty of accepting bribes and jailed earlier this week.